In my most recent blog, I talked about how to embrace the new season at home. And one of the things that I said was to paint furniture. Now, I have been painting furniture for about five years, but before I painted my first ever piece, I was really nervous and anxious about doing, doing it. So I want to make this video just to show you how simple and easy it actually is to paint furniture. And all you need to do is to just get started. Now the good thing with chalk paint is that it's so easy to correct any mistakes. So you don't need to worry at all, just pick up the paintbrush and get going. So I hope you'll enjoy this video. Let's paint this piece of furniture together and I promise you will never have to worry about it ever again. So in the introduction to the video, I actually didn't mention that I'm going to not only paint this piece of furniture, but I'm also going to reupholster it. So I'm just going to take off this old fabric, which, is, which has got some water damage on. I don't know whether you can see, but it's water damaged here. And it's just a little bit dated. So I'm going to take off the fabric and I'm going to paint the piece of furniture and then I'm going to reupholster it. Now, I have already just cleaned the whole chair, so I've used methylated spirit and just gone over it. And the wonderful thing about chalk paint is that you don't really need to do any other prep than that. So you don't need to do sanding down or getting rid of making the wood less shiny. You just literally wipe off all of the dust and dirt and then you can just paint. So I am going to go ahead right now and take off this fabric and then we can start painting. So for this piece that I'm painting, I'm kind of going for a Gustavian Swedish look. So I'm painting it grey, which is something I've never tried before. So this is a three-step process. I'm going to begin by painting the whole chair in the Annie Sloan Paris grey. Then I will apply a coat of clear wax. And then to finish off, I will use the old white paint mixed with a bit of water and rub it on and then rub it off, which will give that antique Gustavian look that I'm going for. And now I'm just going to add this into my little tray. And this is an Annie Sloan brush and they are really nice brushes, even though they're quite expensive but they're just so nice at getting in all the little nooks and crannies. <laughs> really good brushes. I would highly recommend that you get one. So let's start. I'm just going to take a little bit of paint, load the brush, and I'm going to start over here so that you can see. Okay, here we go. And I'm just dabbing it into all of these crevices here. going along here. Now I think that this will need two coats of paint. In fact I'm pretty sure because this is a relatively dark piece of wood and um, I think it will definitely need just two coats of paint to really get the desired colour that we're going for. So with the addition of the wax and the old white paint, that's when you start to get patina and age to the piece. So I am going to go ahead and paint the whole of the chair. I'll fast forward the video because you don't need to see me doing everything. But what I am going to tell you is that I don't use too much paint. I'm going in with the brush at all these details so that you don't get any gaps or you don't miss anything. And I'm also constantly going around the whole piece and flicking off the edges like this so that you don't have drips. Those are the most important things that I can tell you. But other than that, it's really, really simple.
Okay, so the first coat of paint is done and I was really careful to get in all of the nooks and crannies and really dab in the brush around these areas. This is a very detailed chair and what you don't want is clumpiness in these details because it will look really cheap and nasty. Now, while I was painting the chair, I did start to think that this is a very light gray and I think adding the white on top will not really give me the look that I'm going for. So I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to give it a second coat with a grey and then I'm going to stop for the evening and in the morning I'm going to go to the store and buy a dark wax and also a darker grey and I will mix it with the white and go over the chair. But I'll show you all of that in the morning. Okay, so it's now the next morning. I gave this a second coat of paint last night. I've left it to dry overnight and now I'm going to start aging the piece. And I know that the, the first part of this video may seem like it was rushed and you didn't really get to see what I was doing. But that's because you don't really, there's not really a lot that I can say other than just apply the paint. So there's no special technique. There's no really hints or tips that I can give except just apply the paint two coats. It always looks terrible on the first coat. On the second coat, you'll start to see it looking a lot better. But as you can see, it's very dead. It's very flat and it doesn't look too good at the minute. But now the next step is where we're going to add in the details and make it a piece that looks more like something that you would see in an auction catalogue or in an antique store. This morning I went to the shop and I bought a little pot of Annie Sloan and this is called French Linen and it's a dark grey so it's much darker than this light grey that I have and what I'm going to do is I've got these little plastic tubs I'm going to put some into here with a little bit of water actually I've already done it and I'm going to take I've got here a basket of rags and I'm going to dip in to this, rub it on, and then with a, with a clean rag, I'm gonna wipe it off. And I'm gonna do that over the whole piece. And what this does is all of these little ridges, detailing, it just brings them out and stops them looking so flat. You probably can't see it from this far away, but I will put in some close-up shots so that you can see. So I am going to go ahead and begin. Let's brought the camera closer so that you can see the texture of the paint. It's quite loose, runny, and like the consistency of, of single cream, I guess. So that's what we're looking for. And so now I am going to take this rag, dip it into here, And now I'm going to start rubbing on. And as you can see, I'm just doing this. So I'm rubbing, dabbing on. I don't want to get really into it because I want to leave some of... I'm only highlighting this area. So I don't want to cover it completely with a dark grey. I want it just to be highlighted. So that's the way you do that. You literally dab on. I'm going to go across like this now. You see how we're getting that detailing but not going into the ridges? It's exactly what we want to do. And before this was really flat, you couldn't see this detailing. But now with, the, with this, we're starting to pick it up. Now I would advise that when you're doing this, that you start on an inconspicuous area, probably the back, so that if you do make any mistakes, you can just, it doesn't matter, and it's a, it's a place for you to practice. So again, I'm just going over this area, dipping it in. I'll just show you now how I'm gonna do the leg. Can see here I'm taking the paint I'm going to go into a down motion so I don't really want to get inside the groove here because I want that to stay the original 
base color so this will be all highlighted by just going down like this you see yes that's really nice So now that I've showed you the detail close up and how to get this aged look, I am just gonna now go over the whole piece and finish it off. Um, so I'm just gonna do exactly what I showed you. I'm taking the cloth, dipping it into the paint and just skimming over each of the areas to highlight the details. So I'm gonna carry on. So I just wanted to show you one final thing that I'm going to do over the whole chair. I'm going to take some white paint, dab the cloth in, rub it onto here across like this, and then I'm going to rub it off immediately. And this will just pick up more of this grey and just add an extra layer and patina of colour that will just look really, really nice. So here we go. See how it's doing that? And now I'm going to take a clean and just rub through. And you just get all of this really, really nice detail. You see? So that's what I'm going to do over the whole chair. So now the chair has been painted and I've also just, as I said, gone over with the white and rubbed it through just to show me even more detailing and texture in the wood, which gives it the aged appearance rather than, rather than it looking really flat and dead. And I do keep saying that about things looking flat and it's one of my th the things I really hate about fur painted furniture is when it looks really dead and flat. And it still does look a little bit like that and that's because we need to wax it. And the wax just gives it a shine, it gives it a smoothness, it takes away all the dry, matte um, look of the piece and it just shines it out and makes it look authentic. So I'm just going to let make sure that the paint is completely dry, even though I know it is really already. So I'm going to leave it for about half an hour and then I'm going to go over with this clear wax and just go over the whole piece and shine it up and then the painting process is finished. I'm really annoyed because the fabric that I ordered for the chair was supposed to be here yesterday and still isn't here so I don't know whether I'll be able to show you how to upholster it. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see but if not I will upholster it and I will make sure to post an update on Instagram so that you can see how it turns out. So yeah, I'm going to let this dry and then I will wax the whole thing. So I'm just going to rub on like this and go over the whole thing there and find the wax. So the painting process is finished. So what we did was we added a light grey paint, then we added a darker grey wash over the top and then we, add, we dry rubbed in white paint and then waxed the whole piece. It feels beautiful and smooth, there's no roughness to it which you can get with chalk paint. Um, it feels really soft and smooth and it does look really nice I think. It's kind of hard to see at the moment because it's got this ugly padding on top. But I can, I've got the vision to see what it will look like when the fabric is on. I'm just really sad that I couldn't show you right now. So I probably won't be able to show you the process of upholstering. That could be for another video, but I will show you how it looks all when it's finished, because I think it will look a lot better than this. So hopefully you can see that this was a really easy process. You don't need to be very artistic. It's just about experimenting and finding what works. I mean, this was the first time I've used grey paint. I didn't know how it was going to turn out, um, but you just have to trial and error. 
and once you start to do a few pieces you'll know exactly what you need to do to alter and fix mistakes but I think you can see that it's pretty easy so yes if you have a piece of furniture that you've been dying to get your hands on but perhaps you're a little bit scared I hope that this video will give you the boost that you need to do it thank you for watching take care bye bye